first and going to tell you my speech. So today we're here to talk to you about homelessness and its big issue in Melbourne and what we can all do to help. So I want you all to imagine a situation in your head. Imagine you were sitting on the ground at Flinders Street Station in a city on a cold winter evening with only a t-shirt and some jeans to keep you warm. Maybe you have a paper cup out in front of you to collect some money, which might buy you the next meal if you're lucky. There are so many questions for you to think about when you don't have a home. Where will I sleep for the night? Will I be safe here? What can a few dollars buy me? A hot drink or a cheeseburger? Where will I stay tomorrow? What will I do tomorrow? Where can I leave my belongings? What do I do if I ever get sick? How can I ever get a job without a fixed dress? Australians of all ages and backgrounds become homeless for a myriad of reasons, and this includes young children. As of September 2018, there are approximately 116,427 homeless people in Australia. This number includes 15,872 Australian children under 12. Did you know that although Melbourne has been voted one of the world's most livable cities for six consecutive years, our homeless crisis is getting out of hand. Melbourne has seen an extraordinary rise in homelessness over the last two years, with a 74% increase of people living on the streets. The reasons for being homeless are numerous, and many of these reasons are beyond the homeless person's control. Some, some people have had a rough lot start to their lives. They may have lost their parents at a young age, or perhaps they were born into poverty, suffered abusive relationships and needed to escape, or had to support family in any way they could, instead of getting an education. Perhaps they turned to drugs and alcohol as a way to escape the pain of their lives and, then, and lost everything they ever owned. You may think that poverty only happens in the poor suburbs of Melbourne, but here is an alarming fact. No suburb of Victoria is poverty free. One morning recently, as my mum was driving me to school, we drove past Allen Park as usual. Most of you will know this park as it is round the corner from St Michael's. We spotted a homeless person sleeping on the park on a piece of cardboard with a blanket draped over him and it was horrible to see. I felt sad for most of the day after I saw that. We cannot pretend homelessness doesn't exist in our own area. So what can we do to help? Maybe as a community, we should start by making ourselves more aware and sympathetic towards people who are suffering in this way. Perhaps we can donate more to charities that help support the homeless. Perhaps we can learn more about the situation and find out how we can be kinder to those that are truly struggling and suffering. Maybe we should question how the government is addressing this issue. Maybe as a school or community, we can raise money for the homeless. Sometimes a kind word, a simple gesture of offering a hand, a cup of coffee, a few dollars, some of your time, or even a smile, is a good start to letting somebody know that they are not alone and that we are thinking of them and want to help. Who knows, maybe your kind gesture could even help to change a person's life. Now I'm going to show you a short clip if they are up on the screens and it just shows you how a small gesture can really change a person's life.